Meat and three veg. It's long been our national meal with a steamed and a hungy. We'll have the Māori hungy tonight. Or boiled for way too long on a stove, this cuisine of champions has it all. Which is why a new poll from Super Chef Simon Galt brings shocking news. When he asked what Kiwis like to put in their pie holes at dinner time, most of the 1,800 respondents said pasta. And their go-to meal? Mamma mia, it's spaghetti bolognese. Spag bowl dates all the way back to 16th century Italy. And while that sounds quite fancy, the dish really isn't. Containing humble pantry items like spaghetti, mints and a can of tomatoes. So how do we zhuzh up our new favourite dish? Don't keep your mints in the pantry, by the way. Chef Simon Galt joins us now. Uh, Simon, your poll is called What's for Dinner New Zealand. What else did you find out about our dinner habits? We love spag bowl, but the most popular thing was pasta, closely followed by chicken. And, of course, for that pasta, the old lasagna and mac and cheese was right up there. But what we really found out is that our diverse culture of people, they're cooking different things. It's all filtering onto our dinner table, but people are looking for quick, easy, affordable, and banging with flavour. <laughs> Simon, I find this bag bowl quite plain. I've got a mate, every time he makes mints, he says the secret ingredient is marmite. How do you beef up the flavour of a spag bowl? <laughs> well... A flavour shot is the first answer to that, is don't sprinkle it in, shake the whole thing in there. You know, it's been around since the 16th century in Bologna in Italy. It's been around for a while. Some like it spicy. Some put some chicken livers in there, and that brings a depth of flavour. We get some iron. You can't even... I can hear everybody thinking, oh, my God, I hate chicken livers. But you can't even taste there in there. But seasoning, right? And I'm not talking about salt. And pepper, I'm talking about spices and herbs that can just lift it up and get it banging. A little bit of chilli goes a long way too. So no marmite then, Simon? I'd be prepared to give marmite a go, for <laughs> sure. Hell yes. <laughs> Why not? Where do you stand on milk in spag bowl? Lukewarm on it. <laughs> Apart, you know, I love putting milk into my breadcrumbs so it's soaked up when I'm making meatballs because that keeps my meatball more moist. Desert Island dish, what's it going to be for you? For me, mm -hmm. spaghetti aglio olio con pepperoncino. You know this, Jesse. I think I've told you this before. Spaghetti with garlic, olive oil and chilli. So simple. It would be my last meal if I had to have it. Everybody loves pasta, right? And especially spaghetti. Hey, thanks for the tips tonight. Really appreciate it. Bon appétit. You're up. <laughs> uh, that is good recipe, by the way. Spaghetti, alio, olio. What would be your desert island dinner? What do you feel most enjoy for dinner? I don't really have a go-to dish. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know what I want until it's time to pull the ingredients out of the fridge. And you're squinting. Yeah, makes... I'm, so, I'm really sorry, Clint. Like, I know you're not my husband, but I feel like I'm your wife at the moment. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah. My husband does this all the time too. I'm like, what do you want to have for dinner? He's like, oh. Who, who yeah, knows what no. they want to have for dinner when it's breakfast time? Yeah. Or you're like, hey, what do you want on Wednesday? And I'm like, babe, it's Sunday. Like, yeah. I don't know <laughs> yet. Because in the time between those two things, you've got to make sure you've got the thing out of the freezer, you've got the extra ingredients, you're using up the kind of wilted carrots that you're not going to be able to cook tomorrow, but you are going to be able to cook tonight. You've got to have time to do the blim bath in the middle. There's a lot of thought that goes into it. And if you're like, Ay. Yeah, Clint, thoughtless. You are sounding a lot like my wife. <laughs> 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 um, OK, well, uh, one pasta tip from me. 100 grams of pasta, a litre of water, 10 grams of salt, perfect combination. And then if you're doing more pasta, you just change those proportions. It's really upsetting to me that you've taken something as delicious as pasta and turned it into science. <laughs> and maths. <laughs> no. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs>